I got various scenes of in the organ chamber showing the reservoirs that need relethering and uh, give you a general idea of what the organ looks like, the chamber looks like. The organ really would need an upgrade now because it's, uh, you know, been in there like 60 years, pretty close. You'll always have, by that time, a lot of pitted contacts, cranks are pitted, and you'll eventually start having pr lots of problems with that. To upgrade it today, they use a solid state switching system, and with it, you'd get MIDI, and you'd get the transposer, and you'd get a sequencer. Uh, that seems to be very popular, and a lot of the older consoles are converting like that today. The relay upstairs should also be replaced because it's built on the same lines and the same style as the console switching. And that purpose of that is for the unit stops. In order to play the unit stops with couplers, that's what they have to have. So it'd be something to think about. Actual cost, you'd want to stick with a Reuter organ company, I think, because they originally built the organ. And they do this kind of a work, you know, pretty regularly. So, but I haven't a cost figure at this point. I need to get back to them to get an idea of what it would cost to do this work. But then you'd be set for another 60 years, probably. Uh, even though you still have to re-leather the Maddox in the chest eventually. Because those, those leathers are at their, kind of at their extreme end. And while we haven't had any problems with it, you will eventually start having dead notes. So you might want to just play it out to the end until they really fail, until the leather really fails, and that's possible. Then all of the units should be set back to the Royal Organ Company. And we've done that for the Second Press Church. And I think somewhere else I did that too. It's the easiest way to do it, the best way to do it. They have a staff of people that's in that work, and it's much more efficient and fast. A small firm out here does that, and we'd be working on it for months. And by that time, the church was beginning unhappy. So I, I keep Reuter involved as much as you can, because they look after their instruments, and they're always concerned about you know, the upkeep of the organ. So I guess that would pretty well cover it. There are two manual reservoirs, a static reservoir, and two pedal reservoirs. So you're looking at five reservoirs that should be recovered. Now, they're in various st stages of deterioration, but when you see one leaking the air and a crack, you know there's others, because all that leather was the same vintage. It was all, you know, cured and glued on and done at the same time. So the leather was all basically in the same situation. So, and that'll be a major project to get them out of there and do that, to re-leather them. But, uh, and to get them through where the louvers are. Yeah, they, they, to get them out, and if that's the way it's going to be done, there might be room in that side chamber to do it, but it wouldn't have much space in there. You'd have to take a number of louvers out, which is, this is how the organ went in, was up through the tone opening, we call that. And then you also have grill cloth or grill screen over covering so you don't see the louvers that much. And you really don't, unless the light on, is on in the chamber, then you can see them. But that is how that stuff would come out of there. And um, pretty major project, actually. You'd have to set up some scaffolding to, to lift them out and set them down below. And then Rudder would bring their semi and load the stuff up and take it to Lawrence, Kansas. And when they're done, bring it back and install it. And that's probably a priority at this point to think seriously of doing that. So uh, anyway, that kind of sums up the Oregon situation. Thank you, Don. Well, it, it'll get a bunch, so hmm? it, I can always lighten it up. Oh, you can? Yeah, on my computer, so it should be recording now. Okay. The red light should be on. Yeah, it is. It you is. just want to slowly, if you go too fast, then it makes people sick. Okay. But just go from one end to the other, and if you want to say what you're looking at, that's good. See, it's so dark under here, it's really not giving me any picture. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's just too dark under there, I think. Now, I could hook that drop cord up again and lighten that up. Okay, there's here's the ladder. Can you remove all the junk I got on there? Yeah. You're starting over. Well, there he is. <laughs> so, if you can just sort of slowly show okay. where we go from here. Okay. 
that light back there will be helpful. Because nobody has an idea how large this is in here. That's true. First of all, I'm going to give you a scene across the pipes because a lot of people have not a clue what's up here. Yeah. Get this thing down here. Now, is it uh, filming what I'm looking at? It, is, that, is there a red dot in there? Yeah. Yeah, it's filming all of that. Okay. And if you want to zoom in on something and zoom back out, that's fine. Okay. If you want to see what you're looking at? These are the pipes. Oh, you know which? <laughs> Obviously. This is the great organ on the far side and the swell organ is up in front. These are some pedal pipes along the back. There's something just to the left of your left foot down here. Be careful. Okay. Now we're going to take a look at the reservoirs. And what do the reservoirs do? Reservoirs control the wind for the organ from the blower. Now this one down in here has a sizable crack in it, the gusset, so it's going to have to be replaced. And here's another reservoir, likewise. With another crack? Well, they're not cracked, but they show, they show they're aged quite a bit. Now, let's see. And what's that made out of? Lambskin. Oh, okay. Yeah, lambskin. And this, here's another reservoir down below here. Let me get it down where it shows the reservoir. There we go. That's the reservoir gusset. And way over yonder is another oh, reservoir gusset. Over there. So you don't have to cross so far. Yeah, I'm shooting it across the way here. Reservoir waters uh, okay. larger than the hole that we crawl up through. Yes, two of them aren't, but two of them are. So here, I'll give you this back. So this whole contraption that that lets the sound in and out would have to be taken off. Yeah, if you want to take the reservoirs out completely, the reservoirs could be done in this area. Uh, to get them out of there, however. You have to take some of the organ apart to do that. The organ meaning what? Organ the parts. There's a relay there, there's a swell engine, there's a pedal chest here. But it's all up in here, not downstairs, right? You're, you're right, right. Yeah. To take uh, that reservoir, you, you can't re-leather the reservoir in place because the top has to be cut off, has to be turned over, and you have to then glue the ribs back on. And there's just not room underneath there to do that. So that would be a major project, actually. They're probably looking at probably eight to ten thousand for the reservoirs. Hmm. That's what kind of what the going price would be. A lot of them get twenty five hundred dollars per reservoir, so you know it might not run quite that much, but it would be close. And the people that do this are in Chicago or Milwaukee or Well, I've done a lot of reservoirs. I'm not so interested in getting this involved with that many, because that's gonna take a while to do that. Oh. The writer company that built the organ takes a lot of these things back to the factory and they do them there. But to do that here, now two of them would come out to the hatch. Two of them would have to go out to the louvers. They'd have to open a section of the louvers. Wouldn't have to take them all down, but a bunch would have to be taken off. Then the grill work on the front of them would have to be removed to get them out of there. That would be fun, wouldn't it? That would be fun. There is a company in Glen Ellen that does quite a bit of writer's work, and I've got them involved in some work of mine too. They're very good. Reuter rec recommends them in the Chicago area to take care of their instruments, so they're, and they're very good. Uh, so that's just kind of the story. Okay, I'm going to get out of here now. Okay, another reservoir. This is what they call the static reservoir. It's located with the blower. 
and you can see evidence of crack here. And the leather is going to, it's very, and here's some more evidence of the leather coming apart. So this reservoir would need to be done also. And this is the blower itself. We can get a halfway picture of that and come it through to where I stopped in the corner. But anyway, the big blower sits right next to that. That's the reservoir. Well, if I close that, will that stop? Uh, press the, the button on the end of it, the red button. Yeah, okay. That will stop it recording, and then you can push that other thing, you know, so it's not sticking out. Oh. Okay, you said there were five reservoirs? Five reservoirs, to, including that static reservoir at the blower. That also shows some signs of air leaking and cracking the leather and stuff. So that's the story on the, that. Now, internally in the chest, there's a pneumatic for each pipe. That's a different, that's a tan lambskin. That will have to be eventually, that whole organ is going to have to be related. Now you're talking, I don't know, probably 30, 40,000 to do that. But it's kind of on the end of its longevity because it was put in in 56. 